Welcome to How I Solve This, where we dive into a specific business problem and share how one awesome admin chose to solve that problem with Salesforce. My name is Mark Baseman, Senior Admin Evangelist, and today we're talking about protecting fields used in integrations from being deleted. And to help us with that, I'd like to introduce Gaurav Seth, Salesforce Platform Manager at Ashoka, a nonprofit based in Washington, D.C., U.S. Welcome, Gaurav. Thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me, Mark. Gaurav, before we jump into your solution, can you tell us just a little about Ashoka and what they do? Sure. So Ashoka launched the field of social entrepreneurship in the 1980s when the founder was uh, elected as a MacArthur Fellow for the work he was doing. And we continue to be a key driver of social change uh, across at a global level. Fantastic. Um, sounds like a super cool organization. Um, so you uh, were an early adopter of Salesforce. Is that right? Yeah, Ashoka started using Salesforce around 2008, and we currently use it across our 30 offices to manage fundraising, fellow election, and, and many more uh, programs and processes. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks, Gaurav. So the business problem that you encountered was uh, protecting fields used in integration uh, from being deleted. So you have integrations with other systems, and you wanted to stop people from uh, deleting fields by accident. Is that right? Yeah, or stop myself. Uh, uh, <laughs> right, cases. of course. Um, Perfect. Yep, that is exactly it. Um, and it's awesome. not just stopping it from being deleted, but also being more systematic about how we track how they are used. Great, great. Well, um, can you show us how you solved it? So let me show you how we did it. Um, I created a custom metadata type. And custom metadata types are a lot like custom objects, but just a, a little simpler. And so they have a ton of developer uses, but also some really interesting admin uses. So I created a custom metadata type called integration field. And once we go there, we can see that I created a couple of fields there, a description field to show how it's, you know, add some context about how it's used, a text field to track which integration it's used on. And then these two metadata relationship fields, which are kind of where the magic happens. This is just like creating a custom object, right? Absolutely. This is very much like a custom object in setup. You can add fields, you can manage some page layouts, and you even have validation rules. But, but these the, are special fields. Exactly. There are, these metadata relationship fields are really special, really unique. And it's, it's really almost easier to show you how they work um, than you'll, right. you'll kind of see it. So when you click manage, it switches you from the setup view to kind of you're actually looking at the records you have in place. And you click new, and it's like you're creating a new record. So I have a field on accounts called very important integration field, and I want to protect right. that. So I'm going to write, you know, what what this field is and how it's used. Um, um, so in integration X Y Z, and this is how it's used. But now look here in these two pick lists, these automatically show you all the objects, and then once you select an object, all the fields on those objects. Very cool. And that's where kind of where the, the magic of, of using custom metadata types that you couldn't get in another way is that it, it makes this very easy. But then once you save this, you will not be able to delete that field. So what happens if you try to delete the field now? Let us see. So we'll hop on over to the account and pull up this field. And once I mean, you've named it very important. So it's unlikely like, that it's, someone that you would delete it, right? Right, exactly. One would hope. But if someone was to try, they would click delete, they would get this warning. That's and a then, standard deletion warning. Yep, they would get this error that says, hey, you can't do this. This is, this is associated with this metadata type. And when you click on it, it will explain exactly how it's used and which integration it's used in. Fantastic. So you got some great business results with this, right? Absolutely. So there's the, the core functionality where it prevents people from deleting these fields. But there's also the benefit of having a much more systemized, systematized approach to documenting how these fields are used. So how it's used and which integrations it's used in. So I could go say, OK, what are the fields that this integration is using? Well, I'll be able to see those right there. Um, or if I want to know about a specific field, I'll know I'll be able to reference it there. Great. Well, Gaurav, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your creative solution with everyone today. Thanks, Mark. 
If you want to read more about awesome admins just like Gorath, head on over to admin.salesforce.com. Remember to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube so you can join us for more episodes of How I Solve This. And if you have a good story of how you solved a business problem at your org, please let us know. Reach out to us on Twitter at Salesforce Admins Know I or on the Trailblazer community. See you next time on How I Solve This.